But only only thing Christ got rid of, because when you go to Matthew 5 and 17, he said, I didn't come to destroy the law of the of, or of the prophets, but I come to fulfill it. So right. only thing he got rid of because of the Old Testament, it was sacrificial law that they couldn't keep. That's so no. God brought Christ no the sacrificial no you need to go you, you need to go back to your book and go ahead and read the new testament all over again demolished sacrificial laws Everything no still kept no 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 yes you're is. you're very much wrong you've missed the boat on that well, i'm not supposed to be teaching a man anyway so i don't know why i'm talking to you that's, that's false actually no no you're taking it out of context I, again can I no. go to it? No, no, this, is no. this is a clubhouse not a church Oh man! Everybody cut me off when I talk, brother. He was, she don't want to be nothing. I don't want to talk to her. I wasn't talking to her. She jumping in my business. Okay, uh, all right. Well, we we she's not gonna be talking. So what's what's up, right? Thank you, brother. We got order now, priest. I respect you out of everybody, brother. Well, you you need to reserve that for you know, in about ten minutes. You might not like me. Well, listen, go ahead. I, I understand what you're saying, but when I was bringing out scripture, she lied to me. Say I wasn't bringing out scripture, none of that. I was going to scripture. When okay, I, scripture well, let's I just let's, out, let's, let's forget that discussion. I wasn't here, so go go ahead. Where where are you at? Nah, I, all I was saying is, brother, I say Christ, Christ, only thing Christ died for, brother, because well, I went to Matthew 5 and 17, I went to, I say Christ said he did not destroy the law, so the laws is not done away with, or the prophets, what they were saying, but he come to, to fulfill, and I told them the only thing he only thing he got rid of is the sacrificial law because back then when they was doing something off real they would die but when christ came on the scene it was no more shed of animal blood he was the only blood sacrifice now once and for all and now you got grace and mercy so if you do slip up you repent and come back so that was it that's all i was talking about but they wouldn't let me finish Okay, so can we look at a couple of things, though? You've got your Bible? Yes. Okay, so let's go over to James chapter 2 right quick. Let me know when you're there. I'm here. In verse 8. What are you, the King James Version? Yes. Okay. You have the King James. I don't use the King James, so I don't want to. I don't want you to come back and say, "Well, that's not the King James." You so you use the NIV, New Translation. No, I use the CSB uh, and other okay. modern translations, which are better translations than the NIV. I mean, uh -huh. than the KJV. Uh, King James is easy to understand. Verse eight. It say, "If you fulfill the royal law according to the Scripture." Thou shalt love thy neighbors as thyself, you do well. Keep going. But if you have respect to persons, you commit sin and are convinced, convinced it of the law as transgressors. Verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Okay, so whoever keeps the entire law and yet stumbles at one point is guilty of breaking it all. Right. So you said, "Who for whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all." That's correct. So what's the what's the offend and what's the offend? Okay, my point is is that you said the only part of the law that uh, is not to be kept today is the ceremonial law. Yeah, the sacrificial law. The sa okay, but that's not what the text says. Okay. The text says, for whoever keeps the entire law and yet stumbles at one point is guilty of breaking it all. Not just, the, you know, the part of the law that doesn't include the, the sacrifices and stuff, as you're claiming. It says that you, you are in violation of breaking the whole law, the entire law, because it's all one thing. You can't chop it up. So you telling me Christ, when he died, he didn't get rid of the sacrificial law, so we don't got to sacrifice animal no more for sin. No, when he when he died on the cross, he he uh, fulfilled the law. 
And what he is his fulfillment? He, he, he is the Talios. He is the goal of the law. But hang on. Hang on. We're not finished. Yeah, because I don't understand you. I ain't break now, right? What you talking okay, about? Okay, what what I'm what I'm saying is you're you're chopping up the law, and the law I, can't be chopped up. That's what John is, James is telling you. But what part are chopped up though? That's what you got to say. Uh, okay, what what I'm saying is, if you keep six hundred, there's six hundred and thirteen laws. Yes, I say that. Right. Okay, right. So if you keep 612 of them and you break the 613th you broke the other 612 all 613 laws is not made for just man every it's a different law you got laws of women okay, okay. are, are you listening okay but are you listening are you listening to me right okay. right so that's okay not okay what did james what did james just say Brother, you ain't breaking that down properly because I did not. Uh, okay, okay, I'm. Okay, oh, what I'm saying right. is, okay, let's now let's go over to Galatians. Yes. Chapter five, verses two and three. Behold, I Paul said to you that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I so, shall. Okay, go ahead. So, so, so. Circumcision is one out of 613 laws, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, keep reading, verse 3. But hold on, what's this circumcision today, though? Okay, just For keep reading. Circumcision. We're right, we, we know that. We, oh, we know that, but, but it, well, but it wasn't it just... It wasn't just in this time; it was in past times yeah, as well. Yeah, on the 13th day, they would have to get circ 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 um, circumcised, the, and that's the still eighth, the day the eighth, too. When it comes the eighth to day, you can still the do that for day. cleanliness. The eighth day, not the 13th day. But you can Verse still three. do it for cleanliness. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a a what is debtor. Better to do the whole law. The the what law? The whole law. The whole law. Uh -huh. Not the law uh, all the way up until we get to the, you know, blood sacrifices, the animal sacrifices. The whole law. It's all of it. That's what I said. You got to do right. the law. Okay, so if you get circumcised, if you just... If you, which is just one law now you're obligated to keep the entire law which includes animal sacrifices no because I know Christ got rid of that so why would I keep that <laughs> no he sacrifice? didn't that's okay. sacrilegious okay. that's what you call sacrilegious if I go out there and kill a chicken and ask God for forgive my sins and I know Christ he's the mediator why that's stupid that don't make sense I'm not doing that brother Christ is right I go to Christ through the father brother okay but what I'm saying so is Paul doesn't Paul doesn't uh, you know he doesn't chop the law up and, and say well this is the ceremonial you know aspect of the law or the or, or the uh, sacrificial part of the law and we can keep the civil part of it he doesn't do that. He, he says if you get circumcised, which, by the way, is a blood covenant. Circumcision is shedding of blood, just as if you were to the, the, the same with the marriage bed. Brother, I was all of born, those. Brother, I can't help how the doctor cut me or something like I, that. I know. But, but but remember, you're 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 circumcised the same way I was. Of the mind. That's what oh, he my gosh, about. brother. Listen, OK. You were circumcised the same way I was. Our circumcision had nothing to do with religion. Exactly. Okay, so I'm not talking about that. And you should be smart enough to know that. Right? Oh. Listen to me, listen to me. When a husband and a wife, when they marry, a woman has a hymen, right? When they consummate that marriage, that's a blood covenant. That's why you have blood on the sheets. The sheets were to be given to the to the to the parents of the bride. The same with circumcision, Brit Mila. It, it's a blood covenant. You cut the foreskin off. There's blood that shed. 
There's no difference in that than between somebody sacrificing an animal as a blood sacrifice, an atoning sacrifice. Here, Paul uses circumcision, right, in chapter 5, to show that if you obligate yourself to keeping that one law, you violated the entire law. All of it. James said the same thing. If you're if you can keep 612 of them and yet you break the 613th, you broke the other 612. It all connected. Brother, you ain't making no sense, brother. Yes, I Who yes said, I am. You know I am. I just said it's 613 law. Let me break this down to you on a, a child level, because you ain't hear me. It's okay. 613 laws, brother. All the 613 law does not have to deal with man also. Some of it got to deal with the women. Not all 613 laws I have to keep. It's some got to deal with women. Some got to deal with this part. And some got to deal with that part. It's not all I got to follow all 613 because most of it has not got to be deal with me. Most of it got to deal with the women. Some of the laws in the 613 is for the women. Some of the 613 laws is for the men. And some of uh, the dietary laws, the Sabbath laws, mm -hmm. how to worship God, not mm -hmm. just the ten, the civil, because you got the civil, and then you got the spiritual. That's uh, that's what he put. But it's more to ten laws. That's what I'm trying right. to tell you. And all so and I all of that, to... all of that is summed up under the whole law, as we saw both the Apostle James and the Apostle Paul said. So if I'm doing wrong, you got to tell me my sin, brother, because I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm telling them Christ died on the cross and got rid of the sacrificial law. So we don't have to sacrifice animals. He's the sacrificial lamb. So that is done away with. That's what I was saying. That's all I was saying. So yes, do you believe? So, so, so yes, hang I on. I keep the Sabbath. Okay. I go to church on Sunday because that's sun that's worship. That, yes, that's I that's fine. So all of that, all of that is fine. That's all of that is hard. fine. But once again, once again, you, <laughs> oh my gosh, brother, you oh, worse than a God. you you are worse you are worse than a brother. you're worse than a female, man. Brother, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Why brother, do you keep why, running your mouth the way you do, man? Into the Bible. Why do you keep running your mouth the way you do, man? Bro, because you want to seem right when you're not. I, I, I don't. Nobody, I, I don't I, you, right? li, li, listen to me, man. You oh. just said you keep the okay, Sabbath, so, so now so hang on, on, hang on. Can I'm trying to tie this into to something. Hold on, can everybody I, make I, it to I, the end? Okay, all, hang on, hang on. You said that you keep the Sabbath, yeah, right? Saturday. That's a law. You got okay, to keep okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, it? golly. Oh, do you keep it? Since you're trying to point fingers, do you keep it? The Sabbath is the law. Do you keep it? Yes or no, bro? I'm not under the law. Oh, see that? There we go. Now we understand. Okay, okay. So hang, so law. hang on, hang on. So you be quiet, straight, man. Man, man can you just shut up, man? Be quiet. You said you keep the law, right? Okay, he left. Ah, man, what a sissy. So, folks, he says he keeps the Sabbath, which is one of the laws. One out of the 613, now he's obligated to keep all of it. This is exactly what Paul is teaching in chapter 5, verses 2 and 3 of Galatians. It's exactly what James taught in chapter 2, verses 8 and following. <clears throat> if you obligate yourself to keep in one of those laws, now you have to keep all of them. That's the curse of the law. It's a yoke of bondage. I'm happy you was quiet, bro. <laughs> I just don't understand how we supposed to live for God now then. We can't keep the law. How, how, if I go out there and kill somebody, how, the law would have told me don't kill. So go, how I did not Go to Galatians chapter 5, verse 18. Brother, we still under... Chapter 5 of Galatians, verse 18. Well, we, we can do it. Okay, but, go to Matthew 5 and 17 first. Because everybody on this panel been giving me scripts and saying, I'm wrong, this and that. Go to Matthew 5 and 17. Okay, go ahead. I don't need to go there. I know what it says. Okay, let's go here. Matthew 5 and 17. 
Well, I'm going to start with 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Glorify Faith who? Not, glorify your, your Father which is in heaven. Verse right. 17. Sure. Think not that I come to destroy the law. He said he didn't come to destroy the law, so it's still in effect. Or the prophets, <laughs> I am not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill. Verse 18. For verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law to all fulfill. Verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandment, commandment is the law, and shall teach men so, like you're teaching, you don't keep the law. I'm teaching you supposed to keep the law. He shall be called it least in the kingdom of heaven. So you're not going to make it if you out here telling you don't have to follow the law. But whosoever shall do and teach them, if I do and teach them that you're supposed to follow the law, the same shall be called a great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteous shall see the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, because they damn so sure weren't keeping it. You shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. So Christ telling you right now, the law is not done away with. You have to keep the law. The ten was All right. just the civil. All right, so so let's. So, so you let's got go. to keep the law, brother. So, so you so, so, so let's so let's go through this. Oh, let's go through it. I'm asking you a question now. Come on now. Do you still eat crabs and lobster? Pork? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I'm fixing to go grab some lobster right now. Okay, let's go see what the law said about pork swine. Leviticus. Okay, hang, that, but 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Swine. No, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna go through that oh, verse. No, we're gonna no. Listen, listen. We're gonna we're we're gonna go through the verses that you just brought up. Or the conversation is over. You gotta stop teaching people okay. that, brother. Talking about you're supposed to keep. The okay, so let's so let's so let's look at it. So he says that. He didn't come to destroy the law or the prophets, right? It's playing the Torah right there. Okay, okay, it. okay, okay. What? Oh, just, just respond, okay? Just respond in kind. All right. All right. All right. Put a big old. Okay. Yeah, but what do you what do you call yourself? I'm a Christian, a Israelite. Okay. Well, you you can't like glorify. You you can't glorify God Israel. with that name. Never say Christianity. It say Israel <laughs> all through the Bible. So you can't glorify God with this black Hebrew Israelite trash. But anyway, let's go through it. Now you See, you said you that you said that. That's sad. Yeah, that chapter. You yeah, First Peter chapter four verse sixteen. I glorify God when I bear the name Christian. But anyway. Let's let's go back to these verses that you just you you just brought up. Verse seventeen. Not Christianity. That's a religion. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Ain't no whatever. That's what the scripture is. Okay. So let's so let's go through these texts as 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 you've you've read them. Okay. So nobody said that Jesus came to destroy the law. Brother, you just said you don't have to keep the law. I, I don't, because I'm under a new covenant. Okay, what's the new covenant? Okay, let's let's look at these verses. Hang on. Okay. Do not think that I came to abolish the law or the prophets. I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill. fulfill. Now, hang on. Go to Luke chapter 24, verse 44. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. So what? So, so, so when we go back, now that's Jesus after his death and resurrection, right? He says that he fulfilled that which was written of him in the law of the prophets and the and the writings or the Psalms. <clears throat> Before his death and resurrection, 
he said in Matthew chapter 5, 17, don't think that I came to abolish the law and the prophets. I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill, which he did. So what was the fulfillment then, brother? Okay, so now listen, let's continue on. I want to see where you say let's continue. That. Let's let's continue I'm just on. Let's, now. Let's, I'm just saying. let's now go to Luke chapter sixteen, verse sixteen. Okay, I want to see where it say you don't have to keep the law. Okay. Show me where that Christ he fulfilled that he said you don't have to keep the law. Okay. Verse sixteen, you say what? Chapter sixteen, what? Chapter sixteen, verse sixteen. If you okay, stop talking over me, you'll get you'll get that, and we don't uh, have to you know redo this. Unto John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is priesthood, and every man presses into it. The law and the prophets were until who? John. John. Yeah. But wait a second. You said that we were supposed to keep the law. But Jesus yeah. says the law and the prophets were until John. What that got to do with not keeping the law, bro? That doesn't listen, say li no. listen to me, man. Remember, it's gonna get it's gonna get worse the Who further the we go came? along. I'm just I'm just gonna, right? gonna show you that you have superficial Christ came. You have That's superficial knowledge about. of the stuff that you believe. That's and what I'm he pointing said. that out Moses, to you. All the way up to the prophet. That's why John. you're struggling right now. Brother, you right. haven't shown me one thing. I've been showing you scripture. You haven't shown me one thing. Stop <laughs> lying to these people, brother. You haven't shown me one thing that Christ said yeah, don't keep yeah. the law. Yes, I have. I've, I've showed okay, you. Okay, well, go to Luke 1916 then. I was waiting on you. Go to Luke 1916. Go ahead. You're the one with the King James Version. Yeah, because you don't understand it. That's why. No, I do. As a matter of fact, it's my it's my favorite it's my favorite it's my favorite version, but it's it's one of the worst translations of the original Greek and Hebrew. Man, let me find. Hold on, let me find. Let me find. Said nineteen seventeen, right? Well, go to um John fourteen fifteen. What it say? And then jump the verse. Then when you read that one. I'm going to read that. If you love me, you will keep my commands. Commandments. That's the law. Verse. Good day. Go yeah, to 16. But, but, okay, but, but hang on. Go to 10. No, hang on. Let's, let's, hang on. Let's, let's deal with that. Hang on. Let's deal with that one. The first one, we'll, we'll go to your second one. Let's go to Matthew. Chapter 28. Verse 19. So you say Matthew 28, verse 19. 2819. Both of us got two different understandings. You say don't keep the law. No, 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 no. We're no 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 no. No. We're we're so that's it. Jesus Jesus says if you love me. Hang on. Hang on. Jesus says if you love me, keep my keep commandments. My commandments. That's a law. No, that he said keep my commandments. Hang on. That's he came from the chapter law, chapter twenty eight verse nineteen. I'm I'm y'all. I'm fixing it. I'm gonna have to drop this brother, man. He ain't got no control over his personal constitution. I believe in Christ. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. All right, hang on. Now show me where Jesus commanded his apostles that they must teach circumcision. Brother. That you, they must keep the Sabbath. What circumcision no, no, no. Brother? The thing, the thing that the apostles, part. the thing that Jesus no, commanded the apostles to teach was everything witness. that he you commanded them. Jesus say, never commanded, preacher, bro, never commanded his people. apostles. No. How many see how many people we got on the thing down here? You got housing. All right. Have to get rid of that dude. He doesn't want to learn nothing. People on the panel, I'm serious than a heart attack. You guys need to learn how to engage <clears throat> these folks and uh, dismantle them. 